croeso i Mspod, podlediad swyddogol Mspark. Welcome to Mspod, the official Mspark podcast. Yn y penod hon, mae'n rheolwr arloesoedd digidol Tom Burke yn trafod cydweithrediad arbennig rhwng Mspark a Tramshed Tech. In this very episode, our digital innovation manager Tom Burke will be discussing a special collaboration between Mspark and Tramshed Tech. Our special guest is Sophie Weber, the Innovation Project Coordinator at Tramshed Tech. In Gwestai Arbenig, the Sophie Weber Kidlanid Project Arloisi Tramshed Tech. Mwyn hawch. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're bringing this podcast to you today from Mspark and Tramshed Tech. And uh, I've got Sophie Weber with me here today. So, Sophie, can you tell us a little bit about who you are, please, and what you do and what we're going to be discussing today? So, yeah, hello. Um, so, my name's Sophie, and I am the Innovation Manager at Tramshed Tech. So, Tramshed Tech, for anyone listening that doesn't know us, we are essentially a community of startups and scale ups. We've got spaces across South Wales, so in Cardiff, Newport, Barry, and Swansea next year. And we also run several programs for startups right from ideation stage all the way through to scale up and export. Essentially, uh, the innovation department, so myself and my team run the program side of things. So the fun stuff. So we do that with kind of key partners within the ecosystem. And it's all about collaboration for us. And that's how we essentially run what we do. Um, Spark being a key one. I'm Tom Burke. I'm the Digital Innovation Manager here at Spark, And my role is really to uh, find opportunities, connections for our tenants and the wider region here in North Wales. And, uh, you know, find, find things that we can all work on together. And in that, We're working with Tramshed Tech and Sophie and her team, and we're going to be discussing today the conversion content programme. Yes, of course I can. So, yes, Tom said, I'm Sophie, and I am the Innovation Manager at Tramshed Tech. Um, So for anyone listening that hasn't heard of Tramshed Tech before, we are a community of um, startups and scale-ups. We've got spaces and we've also got programmes um, for founders right from ideation stage all the way through to kind of scale and exit. Um, so myself and my team essentially deliver those programmes, which um, I always say is the fun stuff, um, but I won't tell the other departments. And today we are discussing um, the late, well, one of the latest programmes which has been added, uh, which is the Convergent Content Programme. Yeah, yeah, really uh, looking forward to chatting about this because it's an area that's incredibly interesting, but also one of those areas that I think not a lot of people fully understand. Mm. So what's your what's your take on convergent content, Sophie? So convergent content, and I've done a little bit of work in the past few months on kind of refining this definition. Yeah. But essentially, it is that kind of cross intersection between, you know, traditional ways of creating content that maybe media and production companies would use and new emerging technologies like AI, um, VR, um, spatial compute, and how those two can come together to find new ways in order to create that content. So it's a really exciting space and it's one which there are many already in Wales, you know, doing it really well. But I think that there are also quite a few, you know, companies, both on the creative and the tech side, who maybe aren't quite yet aware of what the opportunities are or maybe what, you know, what those two industries can really do together. So I think that's where the exciting part lies, really. Yeah, definitely. And for Mm -hmm. me as well, uh, just if anyone doesn't know me, who's listening to the podcast now. Uh, my background is actually a uh, creative background. I had a company called Animated Technologies and that was very much this sort of idea of convergent content. Uh, we did animations for technology companies and also VR and AR applications. So without knowing it, at that point, I was actually creating convergent mm. content, which is quite handy for this course, I think, because it gives us a little insight into it. Yeah. It's a really interesting area. I think perhaps sometimes we can get a little bit lost in jargon um, and it's good Mm. for us to to just kind of get it out there as as simply and clearly as possible. So it's all about that kind of like, how does creative 
fit with some technology and make something really cool is that a fair description of it do you think oh I think you actually yeah one up to my description to be honest like I thought I'd done mine in a really succinct way but that is exactly what it is and yeah I mean we're really excited to see what comes out of this program in terms of those projects and those collaborations I guess I was just going to dive straight into talking a little bit more around the program itself and what it is and why we're really talking about it today so this program is part of the Barclays Eagle Labs Ecosystem Partnership Program, which is a nice mouthful to say. So we have essentially joined forces with MSPARC and Media Cymru in order to deliver this convergent content program, which is, I think, yeah, a really exciting initiative, which is going to really help to kind of bring those key players within the ecosystem together. So the Convergent Content Programme is now open for applications. We are essentially looking for 25 companies to join the programme, both from the creative industries and the tech industries. So creative side, it could be you know media, production companies, perhaps theatre, any company that is looking to diversify, essentially. And on the tech side, it could be a VR company, it could be AI, AR, um, but also looking to explore working with the creative industries. So the programme will be five months of kind of upskilling workshops um, training, which will be delivered bi-weekly. Half of the sessions will be delivered here in Tramshow Tech, and half of the sessions will be delivered up with you, Tom, in North Wales. So it's really important for us, and you know, it's why we partnered on this program essentially, that this support is pan Wales. So we would like companies to join um, from all areas of Wales as well. And the I think the the real kind of uh, benefit to to the program is the fact that it's hybrid and we've got those experts who will join in both locations and online as well. So we're very excited obviously as well about the fact that we can do this Pan Wales program but I think what's going to be really really cool about it is that the businesses are going to get a chance to join a cohort of other businesses from right across the region and it's in those connections that they make which I think the real value will come from it. I mean, there's obviously going to be some great value in what's going on in the programme itself. People will be learning about how to get investment, how to uh, finance things, how these collaborations can actually work, listening from uh, companies and people who've been through it themselves. Uh, so that kind of direct experience, but also sort of the workshops and things like that that will be happening mm. well, that they're getting tangible sort of results after after things they've learned so yeah Sophie do you think like you know the businesses themselves meeting uh, one another is going to form something maybe those networking opportunities do you think there might be some some magic coming out of that? Uh, that would be the goal yeah we'd love some magic to happen at the end of the program in terms of you know that cohort actually you know thinking about projects that they could work on together and maybe if it's not in the short term maybe it is a more of a long-term thing but I think it's important to get those in the room and start those relationships forming and that really is a key part of the program um, and then you add you know the expertise in there from as you said those that have been there done it before and hopefully you can kind of accelerate that as well. Yeah yeah I think it's a fantastic opportunity and um, just so much to learn as well over five months isn't it and Whilst it, it seems like a, you know, a lot, actually the events themselves are, they're not too heavy and there's always going to be something that's coming off the back of them as well, isn't there? Mm, yeah, that's the key thing. So it will be, you know, have it taking that learning and then actually applying it yeah. you know, to your business. And I think that, again, is a, a, a key benefit to the programme. So because essentially this, is, this will help both sides think of new ways to kind of diversify and commercialise off the back of that as well. And yeah, that yeah. can only happen through that kind of actionable approach. Yeah. yeah and, and like from my own experience, um, working in the creative industry, animation company, then uh, working with engineering companies to create like 3D visualisation, things like that. It's actually just really, really interesting from um, 
from a kind of personal perspective you learn new stuff like and and that goes both ways and i think the creative sector has an awful lot to offer to the technology mm. sector and vice versa yeah definitely definitely so being a part of a program all of those companies are going to benefit from that access to yeah network access to experts and just yeah think you have new new ideas and ways of thinking about things so it's a really exciting opportunity how did it come about sophie how did it come about? It's a very good question. So Media Cymru are based within Tramshed Tech. Yeah. Um, and they are part of the centre of the creative economy. Okay. And we were in discussions with them um, as this kind of opportunity came out um, for this programme. Yeah. And it essentially was, it seemed to be the, the gap at the moment was yeah. that kind of support in bringing those two industries together and yeah. allowing them to explore those opportunities all in one room. Yeah, so it's like kind of, you know, there's a opportunity there. You've got Media Cymru in the building there with you. And it's just like a kind of the perfect sort of timing to come together with the Barclay Eagle Labs funding as well. Exactly. And it's, it's worth saying as well, there is, you know, some great support already happening around creative tech and convergent content around Wales. So yeah. what we're really keen to do is to, you know, explore what that is and, and make sure we're not duplicating anything. You know, the support complements the other support that's out there already. And it's looking like it's going that way at the moment. So that's good. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's great for us to be working in partnership as well, because we're really kind of hoping to make more of a, a bridge between the north and the south and obviously the middle of the Wales as, of Wales as well and uh, and this is one of those opportunities so it's I think it's it's great that we've we've started to form this partnership between each other. Definitely you know we're really excited by it yeah th this bridge has been something that we've always wanted to do and now this program is an opportunity to do it so those on the cohort obviously will be connected but I think the other important part of the program is that we will be running events which yeah. aren't just for the cohort which are open to the wider yeah. ecosystem and you've got one coming up really soon haven't you <laughs> very very soon so we will be kicking off the program on tuesday the 14th of november um 6 to 8 p.m in tram shed tech uh talking a little bit around the program the opportunities the partners involved and then we've also got four great speakers who are going to be talking about their experiences in terms of convergent content and the kind of move over and what the opportunities are as well and it's just a great excuse to get everyone in the room together as well yeah, that's everyone really isn't it? it's open to to everyone not just people who are applying for it but anyone who wants to come along and, and network and, and see what's going on in convergent content exactly yeah just come and see some cool stuff that's happening basically yeah, um, maybe try and be our headset or something <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and then that's going to be mirrored the week after in the north isn't it that's right yeah so a little bit less time pressure for us but coming up very quickly we have an event on the 21st in MSpark starting at 5 p.m and again what we're going to try and do is mirror uh, what you guys down there in Tramshed are doing in terms of the the types of speakers who will be at that event so we've got someone hopefully coming to talk about a fund from S4C we've got people who uh, have VR AR business talking and, and gaming and things like that so we're trying to make it like a, a launch event for the program itself. But as Sophie was saying there, you know, just get as many people in the room as possible and, and let's see what happens. So, yeah. And there's some exciting events which will be happening next year as well. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And hopefully yeah. uh, opportunity for kind of pan Wales hybrid events will just open it up to, to everyone across Wales. So yeah, definitely stay tuned on that one. So where should people go to learn more? So if, yeah, if you are interested in joining the programme or learning more, if you head to the Tramshed Tech website, um, yeah. onto programmes and you'll see the Convergent Content programme there. Yeah. And there's all the information on exactly who it's for, the benefits, um you know the structure and then a link to the application form which i promise actually isn't too long <laughs> it's, no, it's, not, it's, a two, it's a two minute form isn't it <laughs> yeah literally two to five minutes not long at all yeah and then 
also just keep an eye on socials, I guess, from Tramshare Tech and also from MSpark because we're just pushing information out about this all the time now. So there's opportunities to, to join, try and join the cohort, get that uh, form filled out and uh, come along or just come to one of those events that's that's opened up to everyone. So that's probably the best way to, to keep on it. Visit the Tramshare Tech website, keep an eye on MSpark or mm. Tramshare Tech socials. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see a lot of people come along. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you there if you are planning to. So we're gonna we're gonna um, head off now. Hopefully that's enough information for everyone. But if anyone wants to get in touch separately, they can email post at m spark dot com, and we're happy to give any information that's required. Point people at those forms if they need it. And from Sophie's side. Yeah, so it's innovation at tramshedtech.co.uk. And I think something actually that um, I missed then was we will be doing a virtual FAQ session as well on the four, on the 16th of November at yeah. 10 a.m. So links can be found again on social, on the website. But yeah, if you want any more information on that, do feel free to, to pop either of us an email. Yeah, and we hope to run one after the MSpark event on the 21st as well. So keep an eye out for that if you miss either of those. And yeah, uh, yeah that's it. So all from us is to say thank you very much. Sophie, thank you for your time. And uh, yeah. I'll be seeing you soon. Yeah, thanks, Tom. See you okay. soon, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ad <laughs> Danani. There you have it. The Elchi Sophie A Tom Mamaskor Steve Yawn and Maraklin Kavino Creadical. Thanks to Sophie and Tom for the very interesting chat about the Convergent Content Program. The first networking event for the program in MSpark is on Tuesday the twenty first of November. We hope to see you there. Before then, we have a very special event this Friday afternoon to celebrate Wales Enterprise Day. We will be hosting a panel discussing how businesses can rebuild bridges with Europe by strengthening the Wales and Ireland connection. All the links are in the description. Mae'r digwyddiad rhyngweithio cyntaf yn MSpark ar gyfer y rhaglen cyfuno creadigol nos fawrth yr unfed ar ugain o dachwedd. Dan ni'n gobeithio gwelch chi yna. Ond cyn hynny, mae yna digwyddiad arbennig iawn yma prynhawn dydd gwynar yma i ddathlu diwrnod menter Cymru. Mi fyddan ni'n cynnal panel trafod i weld sut fedraeth busnesau adferu pontydd gydag Ewrop drwy cryfhau'r cysylltiadau rhwng Cymru ac Iwerddon. Mae'r links i gyd yn y disgrifiad. Thanks for listening. Diolch am wrando. Hwyl fawr.